I want to emphasize on how you can make connections in order for you to get jobs quickly when you leave flight school. Hi friends, thanks for staying tuned. I'm sure you're done with part one of this video. This is part two. So sit tight, enjoy. If you've not subscribed, subscribe. Let's continue. When you leave flight school, your aim and your focus is making sure you start flying as soon as possible so that your, air, your, your license doesn't expire and so that you don't lose hand or lose grabs what you've learned. So the first thing that I would say is, why in flight school? Start connecting with people on LinkedIn. I've talked about LinkedIn before on this channel and I will still talk about LinkedIn because it helped me a whole lot and it's still helping me. Yes. So how I want you to do it is look for the airlines you want to work with. You already know kind of like maybe I want to work in charter, maybe I want to work with a cargo, maybe I want to work with yeah, there's one airline that cargo that Nigeria Allied Air. I didn't mention Allied Air in that video, but now that I've remembered it, I'm mentioning Allied Air. No, I flight Allied Air. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Let's continue from where I stopped. So, you know where you want to work with? Commercial, cargo, private jets, crop dusting, yes. bush flying, whatever. Look for these guys on LinkedIn. And don't just look for them just in Nigeria because I remember when I was also applying, I looked, there's this airline in Tanzania, I think it's Coastal Aviation. I also tried applying to them, yes, and I know some of my colleagues that have gone there for interview, yeah, though sometimes I hear that they do, uh, they want to take most of their nationals if you don't have experience first before they take uh, foreigners. So, but it's also a good, a good uh, start if you are even called by them. So, there are a lot of airlines. So just look at Nigeria. Just first of all, what you should look at is where your your hours probably you have like 250 hours look for companies that are accepting people with your 250 hours look for their email addresses look for the pilots that are working there and start making connections make connections with them ask them what are their requirements what should you do immediately after you leave flight school explain yourself to them oh sir i'm so so, so i i am in flight school i just got to stage this stage at this stage what should i do allow them to give you their best advice not all of them are going to reply trust me i have a lot of people that message on linkedin that some of them did not even reply did not even say hi back but at this point do i need to disturb them no but there are some that were committed they understood my journey and they kept on replying they kept on advising and i am where i am today because they are because of their help so you can't afford to undermine anybody but at the same time you have to try to make these connections not only on linkedin you can also make connections on instagram though instagram is not too serious but you can also make connections on instagram <laughs> so um lastly the last thing i want to talk about in this video is about your health guys your health is very very important now i'm talking about people that are not yet in flight school hoping to get flight school people that are currently in flight school and people that are currently flying once you lose your medicals that is all and now the regulatory bodies CAA of every nation and all they are taking some things about the medicals very very seriously they are even looking at mental health so seriously <laughs> nobody wants to hear that you went to visit the psychiatrist they'll be like ah hey, that pilot you went to visit the psychiatrist nah 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 you cannot fly <laughs> Oh, they hear hear that you were fasting because you were fasting, you fainted in the cockpit. They will just seize your license. See, your health is very, very important. Listen to your body. Know what you can take. Know what you should avoid. Let me tell you guys. Okay, my own experience. I noticed that while I was in flight school, there are some certain foods I don't eat while I fly, and it helped me because I was able to study it in flight school. And so now, while I'm flying on the line. Yeah, I there are some foods I don't say book for me because when the cabin crew asks you, 
okay, what should I get for you and all that and all. There are some foods I don't put on my menu because I know it affects me. Number one, swallow. I don't eat swallow. I like it. My husband knows. I like it in swallow, right? But I eat swallow only when I'm at home and I'm not flying. I'm not doing anything flying. I can relax. Eat swallow. It's very good soup. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> but you see, while we were in flight school, I noticed if I eat swallow, and I go to fly because in the afternoon you can't pick anything. Maybe you do from two. They just put you on the program and you have to go and fly. It affects me because it doesn't, I don't know, maybe it doesn't digest well or something, something. It sure doesn't go down well. And so when I go to fly, I feel like maybe something is choking me or like I'm not feeling very, very comfortable physically. And I had to cancel out something that I really enjoy because the flying is important. <laughs> <laughs> so, from flight school, you have to keep monitoring yourself. In fact, even before you get to flight, you need to know foods that like go very well with your system and foods that you might like them, but they don't go very well with your system. And you need to avoid this kind of foods because your health is very important, your medical is very important, your job is very important, your license is very important. <laughs> and you don't want to joke with these things because they are basically your life, at least for now. So, I just want to encourage you to desist from taking alcohol, desist from smoking, desist from taking all those marijuana, cocaine things, all those hard drugs, all those things that will basically affect your performance. Because in the long run, you know what you count as important and your health is very, very important. So, these are the four subtopics I just had to discuss with you guys today because I, I really like, I wrote them on this my notes and I'm like, we have to discuss this thing <laughs> So, um, till we meet next time on the same channel, keep watching Princess Anu TV and don't forget to subscribe if you've not yet subscribed, give this video a like, yes. Well, I see you next time. If you have questions, feel free to send me emails, feel free to leave your comments and I'll be there in the comment section to answer. Cheers, guys.